Hi, I'm Ash with From Bedroom to Banger and welcome to my channel. Today I want to go over three ways that can help you finish more songs. But before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to my good friends over at DistroKid. And they've been so kind to sponsor this video. Because let's be real, after watching this, you may be stuck with a bunch of actually finished- HOLD IT! Did I say stuck? I meant blessed with a bunch of actually finished songs. And you might be wondering, hmm, how do I get people to listen to these? Well, you could upload them on a free platform like SoundCloud, but let's be real, those platforms are a little bit dead. So, okay, where's everybody listening to songs? How are they getting discovered? It's clearly on. I learned a TikTok dance for this video. Please keep watching till the end. And also getting discovered on playlists on Spotify, Apple Music, and Tidal. And the best way to upload your songs onto there is through today's sponsor, DistroKid. I've personally been using DistroKid for years now. Like it's super easy to set up and get your music onto all the streaming platforms. And unlike other distribution services that make you pay per upload, Ugh. DistroKid only charges you one yearly fee and you can upload as many times as you want. Which, like I said, is something you'll be doing after watching this video and having finished songs, am I right? <laughs> and on top of all of that, you keep all the royalties that you make on your music. Plus, just having your music out there and release feels so good. So if you're interested, you want to sign up for DistroKid, feel free to use my VIP link. That'll get you 7% off your first year of DistroKid. They have tons of marketing tools and I can keep going and going about them, but I want to finish this video and you want to finish some songs. So let's get to it, to tip number one. You've got your unfinished song with a bunch of loose structures, song ideas, maybe some cool sounds, and you keep listening to it over and over and over and over and don't do this. Unless you have the intention of actually working on this song and adding something or changing something to progress it forward. The reason you don't do this is because if you listen to a song over and over and over again, it'll trick your brain into thinking that this is the finished version, when in reality you have a lot more things that you can be doing to the song. It's like when you have a crush on someone, you don't know what to do to get them to like you back, so you just sit back and you stare and you stare and you fantasize. Never take any action. You never talk to them or tell them how you feel. Next thing you know, you're overly attached and next time that person catches you staring at them, you're the creep. And the same goes for your music. I really like the direction something's going, but if you keep listening to it over and over and over without any intention to actually change anything, you'll get stuck overly attached to the version that you're listening to and you don't see any results from it and it never gets finished. You keep your options open, talk to other people and see how valuable other people are as well as this person that you're crushing over. You could have tons of song ideas that aren't getting worked on because you're stuck on this one idea. You're gonna start overthinking, you're gonna not take action, you're gonna be left high and dry with your d in your hand and nothing to show for it. We're still talking about music, right? On to number two. You want to spend less time working on just loops. Because normally when you start a song, it's really, really common to just set up a loop section and just continue adding and adding to that little loop in order to come up with something cool. Now this is awesome to come up with ideas and see what works together, but sometimes these ideas don't work in the context of a full song. So my suggestion to you is to not work in loops, but to work in song structure instead. For example, if you know exactly what genre you wanna make, bring one of your favorite artists song into Ableton and then map out each section of what the song is. So then you get an actual structure of how this song is made and then you can start writing for each section versus just writing loops and hoping that ideas come to you. And as a way to keep the ball rolling even more and actually get that song finished before you decide, oh, I want to end this session, try to finish producing in a place that's easier to start. That does that make sense? No, that doesn't make sense. So let's say you have your drop maybe 80% finished instead of just calling it a day there. Why don't you try starting the build up? And even if you just get halfway done it, at least you have a jumping off point the next time you start this song again. And then this also works around back to the first tip. And when you do listen to this work in progress again, you immediately have something, some part that you wanna work on. And that will just keep the momentum going and keep the ball rolling so that when you're 
working on your music, you're constantly moving forward and there's no getting stuck. You're gonna find it's a lot easier to start working on a half finished idea than to come up with something from nothing. You know, even with all of these tips, all of these techniques that I'm giving you, there is still the inevitable songs that just don't work, songs that you abandon. But that leads me to tip number three, which is abandoned songs aren't lost causes. Just because you haven't finished a specific song doesn't mean you can take parts of it and use it into another song that you're working on now. Ableton's got an awesome feature that lets you just go into a project file and drag tracks in that were already made from previous songs. So you literally have your own library of songs that you might not have finished, but are able to still use or rework or reinvigorate in some way. Some of my biggest releases have even been a Frankenstein creation of lyrics from this project and a beat I was making in this project and then maybe a cool little lead that I made just working on a random sound design session. Don't be afraid to abandon songs. Just because it's not right for this moment doesn't mean it's lost forever. Sometimes you just have to learn to let things go because the timing's not right. Use that as a learning experience. Are we still talking about music? But Ash, you're yelling. I can hear you yelling. You've tried all of these and you're still having trouble finishing songs. Let me give you bonus tip. And that is it might be time for you to get a second pair of ears. I mean, getting feedback from somebody or potentially collaborating with somebody else because having somebody else listen to your music or listen to something you're working on can give you a different perspective and they can give you a completely new perspective and approach the song from some way that you haven't thought of before. And this is something I stand behind. This is something that's improved my music so much. That's why I've created my Discord server because we've got a great group of producers in there that are constantly sharing their work. We're constantly giving each other feedback and it's a great place to just learn and grow as a producer with like-minded people. The best part about it is it's totally free to join. The link is just in the description below and you could even find someone to collaborate with in there. I'm in there sometimes. I'm definitely checking your stuff out. But if you're looking for something a little bit more in depth, more detailed feedback, I offer that on Patreon under the True Homies tier and you can sign up for that as well. Link is in the description. Big shout out to all of the true homies that have joined so far. We're growing, I see y'all. We are out here. And plus, as a true homie, you get a bunch of awesome goodies as well, including exclusive tutorials, all of that fun stuff. I really hope these techniques helped you today. That's gonna be it for me. If you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe to the video. It's totally free and it really helps the channel out. Shout out once again to DistroKid for sponsoring sponsoring this video, sign up for 7% off your first year. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, all that fun stuff. I see your DMs, but other than that, y'all have a great day. Get out there, finish some more songs. Peace out, see you next time.